One of Oracle's flagship features is the ability to automatically index tables based on usage patterns. You've probably seen in many a presentation the following, uh, I call it Pentagon, the monitor the system, evaluate indexes, work out whether they're good or bad, and if so, add them in and do some remedial action to avoid regressions. But of course, that's only available on some of our flagship products, such as Exadata or Autonomous. So we still have that challenge of when a developer comes to you and says, I need a new index on our six terabyte production table. And of course, as a DBA, if you're appropriately cautious as DBA should be, you're gonna go, are you sure that's gonna speed things up? Because adding an index to a system is risky in terms of the cost to build it. It's gonna cost you a lot of resources to build that index. Often when you ask that question, the response that comes back is, well, I think so. Now, this is not me being critical of developers. In times gone by, in, in what I call the good old, good old days, developers would have access to full-size environments in order to do their testing. And as a result, they could actually genuinely tell you whether indexes were going to improve things or not. Nowadays, poor developers get told, yes, we have a 10 terabyte production system, but you get a 20 megabyte Docker container in order to do all your performance testing in development. It's a tough life being a developer nowadays. So how do we mitigate the risk of actually going ahead and building that index? If I'm a DBA, I wanna make sure that if I'm going to burn a hole in my storage infrastructure, that that index is going to be of genuine benefit. That's where virtual indexes might come in useful. I wanna stress virtual indexes are not officially supported, so use these at your own peril, generally on a clone of production, not your genuine production environment. As always, seek the guidance of Oracle support where necessary. A virtual index lets you create an index using the no segment keyword. What this means is the existence of the index is present only in the data dictionary. It doesn't physically exist as a segment and therefore can't be used to genuinely speed up a query. However, its existence lets you take advantage of some optimizer facilities in order to gauge the value of that index. Because the index doesn't really exist, I can't go ahead and gather optimizer statistics on it. However, I can generate some statistics using available statistics on, say, the table. In this case, I could get things like the density of the column values, the number of rows in the table, the not null or nullness of the columns to come up with some representative statistics of that particular index, even though it doesn't exist as a physical segment. I then can tweak a particular session to say, I want the optimizer to assume that those no segment indexes were genuine indexes. Obviously I can't run a query using that index, it doesn't really exist. But what I can ask the optimizer to do is to generate an execution plan as if those indexes were present. So in this case, I do an execution plan here, selecting from my table, and I can see that yes, my test index will actually be picked up by the optimizer should that query be thrown at it. This is a good insurance policy for me because just because an index exists doesn't mean the optimizer will choose it. So in this case, this is the first step to me having much more confidence as a DBA that going ahead and building that index is probably going to improve the performance because the optimizer is most likely to actually pick it up and use it. So as I said, an unsupported feature, but virtual indexes might be useful in order to get an extra level of insurance policy or confidence as a DBA before going ahead and building indexes on your production systems.